Jump testing is widely used across many sports, team or individual ones, to monitor fatigue, detect risk of injury or to track progress. These goals, however, can only be achieved if the tools you have are accurate and reliable in measuring the parameters of interest. For this video, we'll be comparing a low-cost jump measurement tool with the MyJump2 app that comes in at $15 to $17 or 10 to 12 euros and compare it with a more costly alternative being the OptoJump Next that costs around $5,500 or €3,000 for a 1 meter setup at the time of recording. However, you can expand that 1 meter setup even up to 30 meters if you want, but of course the price will rise with the length of the setup. Now first, these two systems differ in a lot more ways than just the price. They also measure jump height and ground contact time in a different way. The OptoJump is an optoelectrical system, which means that it emits an infrared light to the bar on the other side. If the athlete stands between the bars, the signal gets interrupted, if he or she jumps, the signal is restored and the system times the fly time and from there it calculates the height of the jump, the ground contact times, etc. The MyJump2 app on the other hand is a video system. Here the jump gets recorded at a high frame rate, preferably something above 100 fps and when the test is done, in and out points get determined and then similar calculations are used as with the opto jump to calculate the jump height and more. To see how both tools compare to each other measurement wise, we are performing a counter movement jump, a drop jump and a 10-5 repeated jump test. I've done two repetitions per jump and here you can see the results of each measurement of the counter movement, drop and repeated jump test. For the counter movement and drop jump, there was a difference of 2 cm between the opto jump system and the my jump app. For the 10-5 repeated jump test, I don't know what happened with the my jump measurement, but the data coming from those jump just didn't add up. Now, while these tests may provide some insight, I know they're far from scientific research. But no fear, the scientific world has done its part and has done some research to check the reliability, accuracy and validity of these two tools. Now, a long story short, while there might be a small systematic difference between the measurements of these two tools, both of them are reliable in measuring the squat jump and counter movement jump over and over again. While the accuracy may not be 100%, the two of them come pretty close to the golden standard, that being force plates, for a squat jump and for a counter movement jump. Now if you want, you can even compare tests taken with both devices and compare them to the force plates because there are conversion formulas that you can find online. Now for the repeated jump test, even though I had one wonky measurement where I don't know what happened, the limited research suggests a similar finding as to those for the counter movement and drop jump. The big difference between both devices here is the amount of data you get out of each test. Where the MyJump app is fairly limited, the OptoJump gives you almost all of its raw data. Next up, let's compare the ease of use of both tools, starting with the MyJump2 app. You just open the app, choose the type of jump you want to do, the athletes that's performing and then your camera will open. Try to put your phone vertical, the most easy way to do so is with a small tripod. Once that is done, you just press the red button to record and once the athlete has landed, you just stop the recording. You scroll through the video to find the point where the athlete comes off the ground and then the one where he or she lands. As you can see, all pretty easy, anyone can do this. Now, however, if you have a full squat that needs to be measured, filming and analyzing athlete after athlete is very time intensive, especially if you have to do a 10-5 jump test to calculate the athlete's RSI, for example. So, if you have a big squat, you might want to first film all the tests and only analyze them once you're back home. As you might have guessed, the MyJump2 app is great if you want to test two or three athletes, but it's way too slow and time intensive if you have larger groups. The OptoJump Next system on the other hand takes a bit longer to set up, you'll need a socket for power supply and a PC slash laptop because the software doesn't work on Apple products. If you plugged in all the cables, turned on the one meter bars, you need to create a profile for your athletes before you can test them. Once that is done, you can choose between different pre-made tests or make one yourself. From there on, things almost work automatically. If you want to test a full group, you just select all the athletes you want to test and the software will just rotate through them one by one. The only thing you need to do is to start and save the measurements. The program will calculate all the parameters you want and store them under each athlete's profile. 
Afterwards, you can check all the measurements and compare them with the athlete's previous tests. So the initial setup takes a bit more time, but once that's done, your job as a coach is pretty much done and you can just relax and watch your athletes perform. The big downside, as you all remember, is the price. This device is a big investment and that brings me to the reason why both of these tools exist next to each other as a jump testing tool, but in reality they're not really that comparable, because these two products clearly cater to two different people or groups of people. The MyJob 2 app, in my opinion, being more for the up-and-coming athlete or coach that wants a quick and easy setup and only has one or two athletes to measure. The OptoJump Next system, on the other hand, is for the coach that is employed by a federation or a big sports institution and needs a setup in which athletes can quickly cycle through some tests and where the price of the tool is less of a problem. Let us know in the comments if you do a jump test or jump profiling and make sure to subscribe and like the video if you got some valuable information out of it. It really helps us out a lot.